Hello, you guys. Welcome to Kingdom Living Way, where love resides and God is on the move. So glad you could join me today. Believe in all is well in your lives. Amen. I want to come on here quickly to share this quick word what God had dropped in my spirit. Someone need to hear this. Hear this and hear it well. You know, in life, sometimes we uh, get involved with people, you know, whether it be on the job or whatever, you know, in relationships or whatever. Now, something went down in the relationship. You had an argument, uh, what for, for whatever. And it could be just a, a work relationship. You know, you just relate at work and that's it. But either way, you guys, something went down. It was a disagreement and an argument. So the person didn't take that too well. All right? Say so they didn't take it well. Now, you didn't do anything wrong, but you, you know, just defending yourself, you know, speaking up for yourself and defending yourself. But all of a sudden, this person going to, Turn around and try to befriend you. I'm going to bring her something to eat. I'm going to bring him something to eat. You know, never did apologize to you. But hey, I brought you some, um, a piece of cake over here. Or I bought you this, um, I went out of town and I bought you a souvenir bag. Listen, you guys. Now, you just, you know that person never apologized to you. But all of a sudden, they're going to want to do things for you or give you a gift, all right? Uh, buy you something to eat or whatever, but they're giving you something. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't bring it in your house. Don't eat the food. The person don't mean you any good, all right? They don't mean you any good. They, they working on the dark side, okay? Somebody need to hear this. All right? Don't think that they, they got it right. No, they don't got it right. They still got it wrong. They still in error. You see, God is watching these people, you guys. So I'm telling someone, don't take it. Don't bring them items in your home. All right? Don't eat the food. I did a video earlier about don't eat the food. Now, that can uh, there's a lot of food that's not healthy for us, but don't eat other people cooking either. All right? I'm telling you that. You got to really be mindful and prayerful of this. Some people, the issue is they've been eating other people's food for too long. All right. You know, it's like when you want to heal or something or from some, when you want to heal what you do, you, you, uh, you change your diet, right? Sometimes that helps with your healing process. You change your diet and, and you know, drink alkaline water i'm gonna throw that out there as a hint alkaline water is really good for the body okay so you change your body you you, you know and things like that you start getting better and some places you don't eat at you get better okay so i'm just reiterating some of you guys need to stop eating from your enemies okay i'm just gonna put it like that because they are your enemies if they got to tamper with your food then they are your enemies okay and some people they've been tampering with your food so long you don't even know they've been tampering with it all right these are these close relationships and i gave y'all a example in a video i did earlier about that um so but what i was back to what i was saying when you stall something it will actually die right you know if you don't if you start stop feeding your pet or whatever they won't live you know and that's crucial but they won't live so when you start your fleshly appetites it could be your food your fleshly desires when you don't entertain whatever it is it will soon die down even in a relationship if you don't keep that relationship up uh uh you know start doing keeping things moving in the relationship the relationship will begin to die right so this word is for somebody Whew. when you stop entertaining the wrong people 
Mm. Some of you, when you stop sleeping with them, all right, when you stop eating their food, you're going to see your eyes going to begin to open. Because, see, that was an avenue of them blinding you. See, you can be blind by sex. Sex keeps you blind and in any bondage. You get all that out the way. Lay it down for a while, just for a while. Cut, cut, cut things out for a while. And you will see what you need to see. The truth will be revealed. It can work in your favor, according to you. And according to them, it ain't going to work in their favor. Because see, you're going to cut off the... Let me see. You're going to cut off the avenue that they've been going down or traveling or using, that's a better word, of using to get to you. When you stop entertaining it, stop receiving, you're going to cut it off. It's going to cut itself off. And you watch how they be begin to respond. So I'm saying this to set some people free. Now this word might not be for everyone, but I challenge you to go to God and ask him, is this word for you? All right? Now, some some things you got to um, fast your way out. Some things you have to um, Walk slowly as you move. Walk in silence. All right? But it's always you go to God in prayer. All right? You go to God in prayer and ask God to give you strength to do what you need to do. Because you guys, a lot of people are blind. They cannot see. Then everybody else can see, but they're not seeing this. And, you know, I've heard people say, why y'all didn't tell me? Why y'all... Didn't tell me this was going on. And sometimes they'll say, we didn't tell you because you won't listen to us. Or we tried to tell you and you ignored us. Blah, 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 blah. But I pray and I declare and decree that the blinders will be open in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will remove the blinders off the eyes of his people and free them from the bondage of other people. All right? Free them from the bondage of other people. All right. Because see, God got a plan for your life. God got something special for you. And he wants you to get there in time and on time. So he wants you to be free. So you will be able to do the things that God has called you to do. He, he, can't, he can't do what he need to do in your life if you're in bondage. All right. So I pray that God will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Now take this word to the Lord and seize it for you, you guys. And as always, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. And don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. And let us know where you're coming from. To the new subscribers appreciate you guys love you take care